verses 1 through the 9 of Psalm 77 talks about the darkness of despair. Uh, we've had moments in our personal lives where it seemed as if hope was shelved. And the only thing that is in the mirror is despair and darkness and, and pain and suffering. You, you've gone to the doctor and you've talked to your physician and what the prognosis is, it does not sound good. Darkness of despair and how many of us if you look inside the, 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 the cornea of your eyes you can see that you have had sleepless nights because you've been unable to sleep unable to sleep because you are thinking about the pain the anguish the pangs of death unable to sleep because there are things that others have done that has irked you you can't seem to put it aside but but we look in verses 1 and 2 of Psalm 77 when Asaph was unable to sleep the Bible says he began by praying in verse 1 and 2 he started to pray I would submit to you that, that if ever you can't sleep at night one of the first things you should consider is to pray when, when, when Paul and Silas were in jail, locked away and not knowing exactly what to do and what was going to happen, when the wounds were becoming sore and they sat in that prison cell, they decided that even though they don't know what, what will happen, comes what may, they go pray. Oh, to God that God's people will spend more time in prayer than spending time seeking pity. Asaph began to pray. Then, then watch what happens in verse number 3. Immediately after verse 1 and 2, he started praying. Then he immediately moved to remove. 